Welcome to Start Building Me, back after the long weekend, here in Australia at least, or not really, I sort of just took an extended absence of leave over Anzac Day. Anyway, I hope you're okay anywhere in the world where you are. I hope you are exceptionally well. This is my nightly training session on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook to get you into the habit of exercising, folks, and into a healthy habit of diet and exercise, basically both of them. Um, I want to get you into the vibe, into the habit of doing both of these things that's a part of life and not something that is a choice or not something that is just for athletes or movie stars. You have to exercise, folks, every day. You have to watch what you eat every day. It can be fun. It should be fun. It should be painless. You just have to know how to set yourself up. You can still eat food that is tasty for you and you can still do exercise that you enjoy and you should be able to enjoy. It's just a mindset. I'm going to get going, get some time on the clock, start out really slowly today, even for me, myself, as opposed to me, somebody else, stupid saying, I will agree, getting some squats done, folks, sitting back into your heels, breathe in, breathe out on the way out, your arms come out as a counterbalance to stop yourself falling back, and we're just going to be getting into a bit of a groove this evening, getting the blood pumping through our bodies making our heart pump harder, increasing our blood pressure, increasing our heart rate, and in turn, these are all good things, folks. I have got a splinter in my finger, and I'm a Nancy, that's why I'm looking at my fingers. I will refrain from doing so from my 15 to 20 minutes of power here at Start Building Me. That's all I'm trying to do, folks, is get you to get up off on the couch, do some exercise, and get back to whatever it is you're doing. Hey, if I can get you into the habit, I don't want you here at all. I'm not an influencer. I'm just somebody that is trying to make sure that people exercise. Because if you don't exercise, folks, we all have to pay for you as taxpayers. That's why I'm selfishly here. It's not to influence you and sell you products. It's to make you exercise and reduce the burden on the tax system, folks. I am an economic rationalist. I'm a dirty neo-boomer, even though I'm not quite the boomer age or generation. I'm a millennial. We're even worse, folks. I am trying to get you into the habit of exercising. So if you have the time, do some squats with me, do some push-ups. Tell me what you like and what you don't like. And also tell me uh, if you are struggling with any exercise plans and I can help you out with them. I eat whatever I want, but I exercise all day and that's why I can do so. So it's not for everyone, but exercise is. My dogs want to come in and join on the session. They are not allowed in. They just get all their dog fur around here and mean I have to uh, vacuum my fake faux Marubra beach here in the Start Building Me studio, so I don't want to do that. I just want to explain to folks what a squat looks like. Shoulder width apart, hold your hands in the preacher view, looking straight ahead, breathe in. <sighs> Like a bellows, as I always use as an analogy, if you're, you know, 200 years old, that reference might make sense to you. Or if you like Diablo or Fantasy, they usually have a lot of old relics and icons in those uh, movies, books, games, whatever. A bellows is just an air pump to stoke a fire to get it going. So with your weight going to the outside of your feet, toes into the ground, sitting back into your heels. The reason why the weight's going to the outside of your feet is because that's how your feet are constructed. You have an arch on the inside of your feet and this is what uh, the reason why you're biomechanically set up like this is so the weight goes to the outside of your feet, you drive your toes into the ground, you're sitting back into your heels and that's what a squat looks like, folks. We're not doing barbell squats, so the rest of the details are irrelevant. <sighs> Do one, do three, do five, doesn't matter how many you do, as a number, as a rule, we're just trying to get you in to start building you. That is the crux of it, folks. I'm just trying to get people into the habit. I think after you've established the habit, if you watch my YouTube videos, very roughly made, I couldn't care less. The message is out there. I'm not trying to get production values. I'm not trying to get Mr. Beast or Joe Rogan level subscribers or numbers or who else? Uh, Logan Paul, all those guys, man. Who cares? Just exercise, folks. I'm too bitter to be an influencer. I hate you all. <laughs> Just joking. And I hate you all. I love you all. I love you all. But people, I really got to, you know, make sure people just stay off social media for a while. Come and get 
hoodwinked by me instead of start building me into exercising and watching your diet. I mean, what a scam. I don't want any money. I just want you to get up off your behind, stand up. <sighs> and breathe, folks. It really is that simple. Um, and it's a good workout. Ask any professional athlete whether they think body weight squats in some shape or form or Hindu squats are good. I like some good Hindu squats are great where you raise your uh, heels. Obviously, make sure you've got your form down and it will strengthen your knees as well. And there's sissy squats as well. We <laughs> I haven't done them for a while, as you can see. I think you even have to go down onto your knees. I can't remember. I don't want to break my ankle here live on Start Building Me, even though I'm not trying to demonstrate anything too complex here. It's all the most foundational things that you could possibly do. Even have a chair and practice sitting down on your chair and standing back up. All this stuff is pumping blood through your body, folks, and this is something that you need to do on a daily basis. It might seem, I don't know, I, it, it seems controversial when I tell a lot of people you have to exercise every day and you have to watch, you know, carbon in, carbon out is a little bit more scientific way to explain calories in, calories out. I know a lot of people disagree with calories in, calories out. You can't really argue with facts, but you know, go ahead if you like. So think of it as carbon in, carbon out, because that one is a guarantee if you think of it in a sort of, you know, in an organic chemistry sense. Sal in the house, good to see. In an organic chemistry sense, and carbon in, carbon out is what it's all about, folks. If you put carbon into your body, you have to expel that carbon. So if people say calorie in, calorie out doesn't exist, so be it, but carbon in, carbon out does exist, and that's how it all works. So, we're expelling carbon now. How do you expel carbon? By respiring, so you're actually breathing it out. You breathe out, well, not fat, but it's the process of respiration is how you're losing your body fat, not sweating, not anything else. So, you can just bust out a few squats. Get yourself breathing. and take it easy. Take a load off, eight minutes in. Just gonna do another two minutes of squats. In that time, you could probably do 100 squats, folks. And since this is zone two, you really should be able to uh, talk as I am, but just barely, as I have to respire. Okay, the butt is up. Stand a little bit wider to keep my back going straighter. Sumo stance, people that say has no credibility, they are wrong folks. Whatever stance you wanna have, doesn't really matter you're still gonna be pumping your blood through your blood vessels. And give your legs a shake out. It's that time of the day again. My contagion alarm is going off. I hope it's not true with that contagious effect of yawning. I seem to go to bed these days quite early, so I don't have to lie in bed begrudgingly, not wanting to get back up again. But I have to go get coffee beans this evening, folks. I haven't had them the last two or three days. Tea is good, but it is not as good as coffee. So I'm gonna not get any local beans. I'm gonna sell out and get some whatever some conflict beans. <laughs> Italian roasted Cuban, sorry, Colombian grown conflict beans. It's gonna taste good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Ten, terrifying to think that this is something that most people would not do in some shape or form during their day. I always go in for the exercise route, folks, as walking. If you can just walk in the day, as I said, I'm not an influencer. I couldn't care less if you look at this channel or not. I just want to get the message out there that you have to exercise, folks. If it's in forms of walking, riding for your commute, lifting weights, playing sport, whatever it is, I just want to hear you here, see you here as a beacon to either congratulate you that you're exercising or exercise with me if you don't know how and I will explain it to you in good time. I'm going to switch down to the floor camera, do some push-ups folks in the house and then get back out of here. I am hungry and I need to go buy some stuff from Le Supermarché. I flunked French. Actually, I didn't. I didn't flunk French at all. Self-deprecating, even when I shouldn't be. I did very well in French. I was not in a good set of French. So I was in like the lowest, the second lowest. But I never studied before. But I passed it. So in your face, self-deprecation. Doing push-ups off your knees like this, if you don't know how to do push-ups, are perfectly acceptable, folks. All we're trying to do is get your upper body engaged and to pump blood around your body. There are descriptions on my YouTube site where I'll explain how to do it. You can go watch it there. Tonight I'm just going to do a quick session, get the blood pumping around for me as well, and then off to get bananas, off to get coffee, and uh, seemingly other Banana Republic uh, commodities. Salt, sugar, what else would be in there? No, I should just think of what we produce in Australia. We're basically a banana republic. And the beauty is I can slander Australia and the Australian government. All I want here, folks, because they have no power. <laughs> yeah, I can't slander the US. That's about it. They will shadow ban me, but slandering the Australian government, you know, what can they do? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, they sort of can. Um, I'll speak to you about that later, so... <laughs> um, uh, maybe you know, Maybe the weekend, let me see. What is it? Oh, it's, it's Wednesday. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a load off and breathe. 30 minutes in, keep it to a lean 20 this evening. <sighs> At least my mic's not clipping anymore, that's good. I sorted that out with my the gate and compressor and limiter so even if I da yeah it doesn't clip that's cool just makes everybody deaf <laughs> spread your fingers tense your butt one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ah. Ah. And take a load off not too serious. First day back. It's first day back on a Wednesday. I like these weeks. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> That's when you know you're getting old, folks. When there is absolutely nothing that could be presented to me this evening that would be better than going to bed at 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> no, that's not true. If somebody said something like, oh, Alice in Chains are going to play a uh, once only gig in the city that I live or something, then maybe. There'd be very, very few things. I saw uh, comedian Dave Smith is uh, playing, he's a libertarian playing at the Mothership, which is Joe Rogan's uh, comedy club in Austin, Texas. 
something like that was happening, yeah, maybe then. Spread your fingers, tense your butt, and breathe, folks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And take a load off. Almost finished. Snowfall, awesome show, six uh, seasons, sort of goes a little bit off course from the uh, <sighs> non-fiction element that I know of, which is, like I said, Danilo Blandon, the CIA agent, uh, working together with Freeway Rick Ross. But very good TV show nonetheless. 16 minutes on the clock, four more minutes. Bust out a few more push-ups and let's get out of here. Coffee beans, bananas, <laughs> blood diamonds, <laughs> Venezuelan oil. Keep pumping the blood through your blood vessels, folks. I will say this every day until I get hoarse, until people realize this. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. It really does. Going through Twitter or Reddit, you know, 4chan, funnily enough, gets it. And they call those dudes crazy, but they seem to know that exercise is important. <sighs> ah. 17 minutes on the clock. Three more minutes of push-ups. Did some dumbbell curls, went to the gym, did a run yesterday. Did a two kilometer hard cycle just then. Just didn't want to do too much. Cardiovascular exercise at night. As it keeps me up. Number 10, tense your butt, breathe, look up. And don't chicken wing your arms out, have your sh arms at shoulder length, shoulder width. Ah, and take a load off. Ask any questions as always. If you sign up to Twitch and you're using Twitch, it will log your time and your points. If I get effort out of people and credit where credit's due. I got prizes, gift cards, all kinds of stuff. My dogs are trying to break in. Even my dogs want to exercise, folks. It sounded like the sloppy giant paw of Diamond Dale. He's the last person I want in here. He does exactly what I'm doing now. Kicks back in the middle of the rug where I can't do any exercise. And I'm gonna go out and get them some treats anyway. In just another minute and a half, folks. That's all we've got left. A few more push-ups. Spread your fingers, tense your butt, look up, and breathe. You can do one. Go back on your knees. You can do two. And take a load off. It's not about how many you do. We're competing against ourselves and our performance yesterday, folks. We're not trying to beat, you know, some mythical athlete or whatever, some crossfitter or something. We're just trying to get into the habit of pumping the blood around our body for our own merit. And the merits are endless. Exercise increases your lifespan, it increases, improves your quality of life, reduces your chances of cancer, reduces the onset of dementia uh, probability, improves your digestion, improves your mood, re reduces anxiety, reduces your chances of acute and chronic depression. I mean, like I said, I can go on and on and on. You can go Google it, ask chat AI how essential exercise is. I'm not really here for that. I'm just trying to get you guys to exercise and show you simple ways to get into it. So like and subscribe. If you haven't already, I'm gonna do another 10 push-ups and get out of here and I'll see you again tomorrow. Back in the business, folks. No more holidays until Monday. <laughs> I'm gonna be off on Monday as well. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Love you and leave you. Exercise is mandatory. Join up with me every uh, 7 p.m. every weekday if you want to get into it. 
Ask me questions, hassle me. Service is free.